What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy Uchi, and uh, back again, once again. How y'all doing today? All right, guys, we got episode seven. That boy is Joe Kido. I freaking hyped it up last week, and I have been kind of figuring that each episode that we're getting in the foreseeable future, like pretty much like in sequence, we're basically aligning the original gang, the OG gang from the obviously the before the reboot all together and i feel like once we have everybody here things are going to get a lot more serious so without further ado we already know who's about to be featured on this week's episode let's just get right do you like anime do you like japanese inspired things do you like clothes i'm sure you like to stay warm well i got this stuff for you introducing imori.com a website that introduces anime and japanese inspired styled clothing made in-house and you can use the code uchi15 to save yourself 15 percent off of all these cool dope hats beanies hoodies t-shirts sweatpants and way more where that came from that's uchi15 at checkout to save yourself 15 percent off your entire order at imori.com. Oh yes, you got the tobirate kaze ni nanate. Damn, they got a feast going. Oh damn, they've been just flying on Bergamon the entire time. So wait, what about the others? Are they just chilling and waiting? Oh, I guess so. Oh damn, a whirlpool. That stuff you see in like out of Pokemon. What the hell? Oh snap, they got shot. Damn. What the? Oh! Is that Gomamon? Gomamon literally summoned fishes as an attack. Hey, I was right. Gomamon knew about them. But where is Joe? Oh, finally, we're seeing Kyrie. Now, where's TK at? Probably with his brother still. Damn. Meanwhile, Izzy and Kabuterima are still traveling. They're still trying to get to them right now. Oh, this is definitely Joe's. Hey, there he is. My man is studying for entrance exams during a time like this. This is a time of crisis. <laughs> he wants grown ups. Oh, wow. He's two years older than him. He's in sixth grade. What the hell? Okay, well, uh, he really just wants to study. Damn, Joe's cold. Look at Goma. Come on, how you gonna be a, an ass to to go my mind, man? Come on now. I don't know why Joe always gotta be the pain in the ass. I remember him being a pain in the ass in Adventure Try. Damn, Goma Mom dipped. Rightfully so. I mean, Joe's like, lack of a better term, bumming, even though he's studying. But it's, come on, man. Even now, Goma Mom is still sticking up for Joe. Oh, look, he was he was he was standing by, watching, listening. So now now Joe's gonna see that even though he told him. Yeet. Now he's gonna see that even then Gomamon believed in him. So he's gonna pull through, obviously. Right when Gomamon's about to get into some real trouble, that's when Joe's gonna pull through and then boom, Digivolution. Watch. Oh, uh, here we go. Damn. Right on the sand. Oh, we gonna see the true form? Oh, wow. It's like a big ass squid. Guess him on. Oh, no. It goes on land too. Oh, uh, no. Fire. Agumon literally jumped off the cliff, evolving. Oh, that was quick. They went right into it for Togemon. But of course, since Agumon, he, Agumon gets a special treatment. I'm telling you, I pretty much think the same thing is going to happen to freaking uh, Garurumon when, they come, when he comes back to the show. Oh, no. Not Togemon. Yo, that thing's going to drown Togemon. Oh, wow. Gomamon literally took care of the man Joe when he crash landed. Damn, they're having trouble right now. Greymon's having trouble. Oh, all right. As soon as he accepted him as his partner, or as Gomamon's partner. Here we go. Ikakumon. That's right. I forgot I forgot the name. I'm surprised I remember Gomamon, but I did not remember Ikakumon's name. Oh, they're going underwater. Dang, he just stabbed it with his horn. Oh, he shot it, though. <gasps> what? That's crazy. Turned into a whole torpedo missile. Nice. He got Togemon out the water. Damn. <laughs> Greymon with the flamethrower. Yo, does that have tracking? It has tracking. Very useful. All right, so now they got a Kakumon to travel across the sea, naturally. I thought the episode was pretty okay. Like I said, they're still they're still world building right now. They're getting all of their group members. Now, the question that I have is, are they going to get Kairi and TK? Are they going to get Kairi? Or are they just going to go right back to uh, Matt? Or Yamato, I think they call him in, in this one. Because we haven't seen him since the beginning. And I think now would be a pretty good time to get him. But we can't forget about the other kids, though, too. So I guess we'll see from the preview because the previews have been pretty well the previews have been pretty good to us and they've been pretty much showing us like what we can expect for the next episode so let's see or actually is it gonna be izzy that actually makes it before we get to matt 
and the rest of them. That's pro it's probably gonna be easy, actually, now I think about it. Oh, it is mad! Let's go! Fire! The children's attack on the fortress. Dude, that's crazy. Okay, so my initial prediction, gotta go always with your gut, guys, is that Matt is gonna be back again once again next week, finally after, what, like, I guess five or so episodes? It's, we're only at episode seven. It seems a lot longer because probably because we had that gap in time where we had no new episodes week to week but thankfully right now we are gonna go into episode eight with matt coming back and they they did say that all of the chosen ones are going are finally together so i'm assuming that even though the preview was highlighting matt i think that izzy or Koshiro, they're all going to actually be together, so including Izzy as well. So that's pretty godlike. So we're gonna have everybody minus the two youngins. I feel like they're gonna come in clutch, like when something goes wrong or something later on. I mean, who knows? Or what if Matt comes with TK? Hmm, I guess we'll have to wait and find out for next week. Until then, guys, let me know what y'all thought about this week's episode in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Make sure you guys are especially hitting that like button so that we get more Chosen Ones or Digi Justin to the channel to enjoy all these Digimon reactions. And make sure to follow me on Twitch so that way you can talk to me about uh, Digimon and plenty of other anime while I'm streaming some games live. Lately, I have been on that Ghost of Tsushima. That game is fire. Going back, I'm on the Power Rangers, got the new DLC going. And I just recently, in installed rollback melee so who knows i'll probably be streaming that pretty soon as always guys take care of yourselves may the power protect you keep it locked with it right here on this channel stay fresh stay clean stay inside i'll see y'all next time